Yes. I feel, as the attorney of the unfortunately, quite unfortunately, recently deceased yes. uh, Felix Fontana, I feel it is my duty to inform you of a few things. Um, I, I'm not allowed to have any conversations until the clues have all been found. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carry on. I'll be my Cecil, I'll let you take the lead. All right. So the bottle. Number one, obviously, really bad, blood everywhere. Mm. So we got that. Bobby, where did you put my jacket? Oh, on the best coat. coat really? In a I moment like this, we're speaking about jackets. There you go, sir. What is he like? Yeah, why does he have to go right now? Very suspicious, this man is. Okay. Clue number one. Number two, the bottle number one. <laughs> hey, Brad, I like your tone. Whose approach was it? Whose approach was this? Was this seen on anybody? Does anyone have any information on the approach? It looks unfamiliar to me. If I were to make a guess, you might have appeared on... I do not wear such thing on me. On who? Who are you saying? Duke. The wife of Felix. Mm. Uh, well, obviously you don't remember seeing it. You have quite the extravagant outfit. I would not be surprised if it at one point was part of it. I feel like purple may clash. I feel like purple goes with, with, with everything, as you can see from Mr. Roger Webster. Clue number three. Oh, Necklace that has the note, that had the note. Thanks, is My love on it. The children. It could mean so many things. Mm -hmm. Was anyone seen wearing this? So did anyone purchase this? Purchase it? Well, maybe they dropped it. I don't know. I'm trying to get down all the facts here, Edgar. Strange tactics you have for a private investigator. I have a 100% success rate, so... How many cases have you done? That's not important. Potential. He gets it right 60% of the time uh, every time. Oh, Where's this guy from? With the greatest human. Okay. Where's this guy from? <laughs> Philadelphia or France? One of the. I am from France. Mm. The investigator. So from Little France. Come I uh, have spoken with Felix before his untimely death, and uh, I'm afraid I must throw our Frenchman under the bus here. <gasps> they were friends, apparently in college. Huh? Yes, uh, I've heard some of this. At which point, uh, he has allegedly moved to France, picked up this horrendous accent. And, uh, well, I was born in France, uh, and I came to America for college. And see, this is not the claim that Felix had made to me when I asked him of who this man is. Just because I dress differently than the rest of you guys does not make me different as the person who might have done something like this. That's not what I'm saying. I'm simply saying your story is fraudulent. His, his mother told me that he had a, a affair with a young gentleman back in college. Was that you? you know how I do not you know this story. Did anyone hear any conversations about something happening with them in college that was a little iffy? I heard I, something. It sounds possible. I heard something. He has claimed you. All I heard was that Felix and this Frenchman guy were in incredibly close. They knew everybody's business. They were dormant. Someone. Troy? Troy. Troy. I do not know who you are talking about. This makes no sense to me at all. And just because I am different from all of you, stop from bullying me. I do not appreciate it. What are you laughing about over there, Mr. Mitchell? You are different about this. You just mentioned you are the same as all of us. What are you laughing about, Mr. Mitchell? I don't laugh. You saw that. You know what? I'd love to share some information with Jefferson Mitchell. Well, can we get through these clues first? Puppy, puppy, first of you. Puppy, my poor puppy. It's been a half an hour's time. Hey, puppy, you We're all parts on the ground, all right? We need dead. For God's sake, I am off the clock now. Oh, is he off crazy. to get this angry? Does he get angry like this all the time? This is a no-nonsense club of jazz cats oh, now. He speaks recently of his discontentment with the suspect. I have not the victim, I should say. I am the owner now. Copy. Clue number four. Duke Porsche Track 10U. So it looks like a ticket to... Looks like an IOU. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't open my glasses. <laughs> Thank you very much. It could be very, but I owe you for the horse track. Duke, what 
is the meaning of this? What business did you have to attend? Now, <laughs> Felix, I understand that recently you've made quite the investment. And uh, as an uh, expression of my gratitude, I have this for you. You'll find inside a voucher for my establishment. Ah, uh, yes, the voucher right there, a little letter. You know what, we, we go back quite a way as far as our family, so I will take this with honor. Um, this is good enough. This is good enough for now. But just, just for, I'm not, eat at them, eat at them. Okay, I'm a little bit. Sweetheart, just go, let us finish this, but uh, yeah, it's good, it's good enough for now. So we'll, we'll join them a lot sooner again, but uh, um, I can't take too many IOPs. I, I understand. You understand. Yes. 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 I fall or death, I cannot take it. I understand. He's a man of business, yes. and I understand what needs to be done, needs to be done. Yes. All Let's right. just go and join the night. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You've got uh, thick ends. <laughs> Me and Felix were in very close business ties over the past couple of years. Our families have been in business for generations. So it's simply an uh, offer of gratitude towards the business and uh, the successful dealings we've had in the past that I invited Felix out to my horse track with some money to gamble with on my own behest. How would the rest of you say their relationship was at this party? Were they chummy? Were they friendly? Was there drift? What was happening? They didn't speak you? much, but I heard that their rumblings recently has not been in the Duke's favor. I heard he has lost quite a load of money in recent times. It has not been a bad that money has simply gone towards an investment which will bear wonderful fruit going into the future. Will it? There's the debt before Felix, will it? So I have a play bill for an amazing variety show. Great title, by the way. Uh, three acts all day, Saturday, Sunday, man -hay. So it's a play bill to a show. Uh, I believe Edgar... Don't you work on Broadway? I'm getting in the business out. Mm. I'm working on my first ever Broadway play as we speak. I know something about that show. What do you know? What do you know? I was... <laughs> <laughs> I just happened to be walking around near the uh, Copley Brothers Theater and uh, I saw Edgar and Edith Fontana going to the Copley Brothers Amazing Variety Show together. And they're kind of like out of the way theater, and it looked like they were trying to go unnoticed. Mm. Uh, it has been, it has been this is quite the development. Dark community. This is not new standing Edith has a great appreciation for great theater. So I why go like, so unnoticed? Uh, the best the shows are not on Main Street. I would like to mention that Edith, as of recently and in the past, she is quite zazzled rather frequently, <gasps> and she leads a largely separate life Adultery? Felix! There is perhaps a suspicion or two to be mentioned in this area. I heard Felix was loyal, 100%. I am hearing this about me. I did not have any proof about loyalty from Felix, actually. In fact, I have the opposite of Felix. Number six! The penultimate clue, if that's a word in this era. This is not. I'm a con crowd, let's just go on with it. Train oh, ticket to Philadelphia, aka Philly. I heard you ran about Philly when I got here. I am taking a train to Philadelphia, that is correct. Eh? So, is yeah. your ticket just laying around? He has a buyer for his uh, I think this might be a fraudulent ticket. It doesn't look legitimate. There's no time on it. It still doesn't look like my ticket. It's a little ripped. A little what ripped. platform does it for? <laughs> I am not, that is not my ticket. I am going a different day than that is. It doesn't have a day. It's ambiguous. <laughs> it sounds like a them problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Final clue here. Final clue. Please run away with me, XOXOJJ. And we've already figured out that uh, Judy has a lot of J. Well, I also hear there's a great director in the Broadway circuit. As a time traveler, you might know this. Yes, yes, so... We are developing a Netflix series called Binks and I. I don't mean to point fingers, but what is your last name, though? Um, Bertha, Bertha, Bertha. Bertha, Bertha, Bertha. I think we might have to drink. They've had so much to drink that they can't remember their name. How's that, though? What is your middle name? Is the J silent? I have a question. Oh! Poppy, are you left or right-handed? I'm right-handed, sir. Edgar, same question. I'm right-handed. I, I rather am ambidextrous, I must say. 
Need it. I'm right handed. I left you, sir. I write and draw with my right hand. Do? The left? Right? I'm a man of the right. <laughs> what? I <laughs> say that. Especially the twins. That uh, makes sense <laughs> by your character. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any beef with Felix? And if so, why? Of course. Felix was just always counting me on my team of you know, fantastic work associates I employ at the fine establishment. He would just hound me and hound me and hound me and he would always take credit for all the exploits that I achieved. He never believed in what I could do and would leave me to do my own thing. Me and Felix were just about to do business for my upcoming Broadway show. He was promised to produce it provide the funds, so without this, of course I am very sad, my show might never happen now. Was there anybody else involved in this show? As financial backers, you asked? No, in, in this party, anybody, is it just you and him? No or confirmations, no? though I'm very interested in having June as amazing actress as she is, perhaps she could take place, and Raymond, always hard to get an answer out of him, but he does say, maybe I draw something once. Okay. I have some further information. I have been informed by another man who works at this very club that this club employs child labor. Wow! Who is the man in question that gave you this information? It is our own Calvin Carpenter. Is this true? Is that child working here illegally? She was making the food. <laughs> what he said to say about this? He told me they were in a dark room. And who? I, I looked in the kitchen for clues. Who the fuck cut the cheese? <laughs> I was given the wrong tool for the so the cheese does not look like it should be. When you think no, about it, you're an artist and you can't do cheese. I am not a cuisine artist. I don't think he's right now. But when you think of cheese, I French and cheese go hand in hand. That's true, French and cheese go hand in hand. So are you in fact a French person? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome back to you. <laughs> Eat it. There's been lots of accusations thrown about you. Did you have any problem with your husband? The former husband. Well, we have been together for over 10 years, so obviously our marriage is very strong. I would like to mention that I have been very close with Felix and his family for generations. In fact, I am only one generation, but I have known him a great deal. And I must Makes say, sense. Edith and Felix led largely separate lives, so this strength of marriage I hear of has no basis. I will uh, concur with the, uh, the Duke here. A, a, this just general He's not the Duke, his name is Duke. It's Le Duke. <laughs> Please, Reynolds! Can it correct for once? It is fine, that is beside the point. Uh, it is just general knowledge that they live separate lives. I know Felix for such a long time, so this this does not I make any sense. Back when you were English, right? Pardon? <laughs> I would like to add as well, I am uh, on the same page as you with this knowledge that uh, they led separate lives. I have good friends with Felix, or was good friends with Felix, and uh, I also know that uh, Edith there was a very bitter woman, and she's very patient. Mm -hmm. May I say something? Sure. I have great, Edith. great movies, by the way. I love all the movies. <laughs> Yeah, so Edith has been just nothing but a great friend, and she puts up with a lot. She put up with a lot with Felix. I think she's incredibly strong in everything she's done, and I just really appreciate her friendship. I think she gets all around all the time, and I think it's unnecessary. I have to ask, Dude, why would you kill Felix? <laughs> <laughs> Raymond is... Wow. <laughs> I just figure I asked... Are you see. from the FBI? Are you just <laughs> undercover? Because what's happening? Okay, so answer his question, and then Duke has a follow-up, and then we'll continue. I didn't kill Felix. Okay. I did not kill my husband. Stop up. I have seen June and Judith, uh, sorry, and Edith, talk in their own little ways, and they kind of go off in the group, so I do not know what is going on between the two of them, because our stories seem to align, but this seems way different than... So, like, maybe in France they don't do this, but when two good friends love each other and they don't care about each other very much, you just go through. I saw them go into a dark room together. Oh wow! Is that where the wow. child labor was? <laughs> <laughs> That's too. Wow. So it was. <laughs> 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 Did Edith have any connections that anybody else knew about? So apparently something was happening with June. Was she doing something with anybody else here? Oh, Edgar. 
It was many rumors. More than just the many theater, rumors surface of I don't know I'm sorry, of many men that she has seen over the years. <laughs> many and men. Months. You are. Well, I said many men at this exact moment. I have eyes. Investigator. Yes. I, I don't appreciate the way he's talking to Edith, and I actually heard that Edgar loves to keep mementos of times where he's really enjoyed himself. He really likes to keep mementos. Oh. I'm not very emotional. <laughs> so are we, are they, could this be yours? What is this? This necklace of a heart. It looks like yours the way you wear it, sir. <laughs> it was for a period. It was for a period. What? It had that note on it. Yeah, it was a note. Love you. My love or something. No, it says My love. E. e. So the thing Whoa. is, apparently, oh. Edgar is seeing some shows with Edith, and if Felix, who's well, there's a man of great power to find out about this. Would he want himself and his son to be embarrassed like this? So, could you take it in your own hands to take out Felix? Investigator, it was brought to my attention by Felix himself uh, that he would not wish for Edgar and Edith to be speaking much in private at really? this party, specifically in private with each other. Really? And I me would and like Felix to make that note. have a very complicated friendship, <laughs> and it has developed greatly over the last few months. And this night was a very interesting time. You know, people saw us last week. We were having a bigger. And you know, Edith, I said she's seen many guys. Now, possibly I, I have been one of them. I, I, would like to, <laughs> I would like to propose that the funding for your play is perhaps uh, a form of hush money to keep you and Edith wow. apart. I agree, or I agree. To keep you from speaking. <laughs> your own actress is selling you out. Now, Edith has all I've his money to... and their friends. This what if you couldn't convince? I already had Felix. Felix's endorsement when he was in life. Why <laughs> then would I remove that life? Andrew, why were you so hush about the fact that you were talking to Felix when I came into that room and then you scurried me out like a? Oh. As two men do, we have many business dealings. And Edgar, well, is it not I true? I keep getting interrupted <laughs> by it, this attorney. Is it not true? Objection. Is it not true that at my most recent party, you and Felix were heard having a rather heated argument in my garden? This is what I was saying last week. We did have a bit of a fight. Would you like to enlighten us? False That's question. True. What was in that garden? In the garden? Yeah. There was this man and Felix having a wonderful argument. No, it was planted there. What was planted? Yeah, I, don't I need recall. to visualize. I don't recall. <laughs> We're really screwed now. Probably grass. So what flowers? Perhaps, really? Perhaps a purple flower. Maybe, maybe a fountain. I don't know. Oh, I don't want purple to. Purple flower. I don't want to put words in the mouth. Wow. Maybe food beyond roach. So you're I'm saying that you because it's a relevant thing. There was a purple flower. flower. I don't know what's in my so own you garden. So you're saying I don't maintain it. Man, he's saying I'm an attorney, not a gardener. I'm not saying this book is very long. I am. It's gotten long here. Hold very uncomfortable. Dude, you seem very uncontained right now and all over the place. So I'm I have never been contained in my life. What? Roger? Wow, that almost sounds like something. We just learned that Roger grows purple flowers in his yard, apparently. And there was a party last week. Anybody could have clipped such a flower. Okay, and what were, you, what were you arguing about? He said there was a scuffle in his yard. I would like enlightenment on this matter. Felix? Had become aware of my particular dealings with Edith, and in a fit of rage, he screams at me. He screams at me as he has to Poppy, as he has to do. Many men have felt the wrath of Felix, and tonight, of course, this this conversation, June, that you walked in on, we were discussing this matter further, and I was assuring to him that these dealings had been over. It was a quick fling, and it was nothing more than that. Recent times, you know, uh, Felix stays after hours at his club, and I have to be there, and I hear things, and I hear that uh, he gets very heated arguments with Mr. Uh, Jefferson. Jefferson over there. Oh, the chat oh, box is uh, away. To go into specific I mean. details, <laughs> it actually relates to business dealings that have gone very sour between the two of them. Really? Then really? you call yourself a businessman. Re recap. Like, don't you dare be sour. <laughs> don't you dare be sour. <laughs> What am I accused of? Apparently you and uh, Felix have some falling out over business rumblings. 
Now, I don't know no such thing of this. This man is a stockbroker, I think. Mm. On Wall Street. Fancy. Yeah. He says very, very successful. successful. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> he says that every time. So, were you guys having some sort of money problems? Because apparently you guys were friends for a while, but it sounds like they are kind of popular. Very good man. friends. Um, I would always give him financial advice whenever I could. Um, we just, just like any good friends would, would have, they have their odd uh, falling outs where you just have a, a constructive argument. Mm. But um, no, no foul play in, in the matter. What was the falling out over? The falling out? Yeah. What was it over? Why did you guys start arguing? <laughs> Tell us the specifics <laughs> with dollar values, <laughs> please. Um, there's a uh, what there's is top this? secret business. No, this <laughs> is the time. This <laughs> yes. is the time. We've been ten men in the other room and I keep a secret. Jefferson, I'm not speaking to you. I was having my own the truth. Business dealings. Okay. I'm okay. okay. a man of honor. Are okay. you not a man of honor? Did he get along with you and your wife, Felix? Oh, your wife is shaking her head no. What? She is her own individual. Well, I'm let her speak for her right. They can vote now, God damn it. Let her speak. Exactly. I think that Felix is womanizing and shady business deals probably got him into trouble. Wow, do you have a personal problem with that? I As a writer of women's rights and whatnot? <laughs> I mean, in a way, yes, but mm -hmm. I just did not agree with most of what he did. Do you have a big enough problem to lead to murder? I let the men deal with oh, yes. that. So did you get your husband to do it? <laughs> And you find yourself a proponent of women's rights. And you let the men do the dirty work. That is why we can vote. Okay. All right, Raymond, you're up. Do you have a problem with Felix? Apparently, you guys were lovers in college. What's happening? Lovers? Yeah, that's what I've been told. They did indeed share a dorm, as was confirmed by. They also shared a bed. <laughs> I have shared many a dorm with many a men, and not one have I slept with. They oh, yeah, the same it's, bar, so cool. It's 2018. Okay. Raven, what? so you know him in college. Apparently, <laughs> allegedly made a relationship. He had many dealings with Mark, and Poppy informed me on my way in that he had been slipping you bills the entire night. Lots of bills, 500 by the 500. $500 dollar bills. And I never got another tip again. Wow. Hey, You'll get just the tip in a second. Hang on, Papa. Hey, Felix, he let me wants to buy my amazing painting that Stop I talking. have. Stop talking! It smells good. And, but I have a buyer in Philadelphia, and that's why I'm taking a train down there. Thank you, Prince oh, Belair. Do you guys have any? But that you train know, ticket is not the money. You know, without the money awesome. backing him up from his family, I don't even know what it is with Raymond here. His, <laughs> what is he doing? I do not need the money from this man. I come from a wealthy family. Exactly. Without that, you would be on the streets. I see this man here. I would, well, I would not be on the streets since my family has money. I don't understand. I mean, just is there a reason you're targeting just specifically him? him? I don't understand I how he left the country. Bola Ying, uh, Bola Ying. Was there any accusations that Poppy treated you differently throughout the night? If Poppy, would, he just kept talking behind my back. I would see him say stuff to Felix, and it just did not make me feel good to be welcome. And it, I don't know if it's because the way I dressed and the way mm. I talk, and I just I can confirm. Poppy said to me tonight that this man made him a racist. <laughs> this is word for word quotes. I have a oh my God, man. Man, man! What is happening? These I, Frenchmen. I would like to make a statement. I heard earlier from Felix before his demise that Poppy was the one who allowed Raymond Reynolds into the building without and consulting Felix in the first place. And were you two also lovers? It was said by Felix that this man was not even invited by Felix himself. I did not. So how come if he let you? So we're saying Raymond, you weren't invited by Felix. Uh, Poppy let you in, and now Felix is dead. I, I do not appreciate this bullying that is about. happening towards me just because I am different from you. You have to pick on me. Are you actually French, Raymond? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk to the two-week-old bartender. What do you want? Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm two weeks old. <laughs> I, I also He's been working here for two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> You've seen a lot of stuff. Defend yourself. Do you have anything to? Did you have a problem with Felix? He's your new boss, or anything like that? Did he treat you well? Felix treated me well. I mean, 
I was always good friends with Poppy. He took good care of me as manager. And uh, the only thing I heard about Felix was that Poppy just wasn't a big fan of Felix. He said that Felix just kept like being on his ass about staffing and whatnot, and just wouldn't leave him alone. Wow. And I also heard Poppy complain lots about Raymond and that he shouldn't be drinking and he's too drunk. And, Ray. Very curious. I like that. <laughs> this man has been quite ossified all night long, I must say. Wow. That's not as much as I know. Gloria, you've been singing here for a few months now. Beautiful voice. Have you? Yeah, yeah, we all love the album. It's great. I got the exclusive. Uh, so, do you have any information pertaining to Felix's death? I've heard that Poppy has been selling information about Felix to his enemy. Wow. Oh. Poppy? Poppy, how dare you. Felix, Felix paid for your wife's gravestone and you did that to him. You know, that's that's a, you know, that's out in Canada. It's fine. It's, you know. Good yeah. country, by the way. Earlier this evening, I had a private conversation with Poppy and he was more than open to provide information on the business feelings of multiple clients of Felix, not wow. only one, but two or three he mentioned to me. And I was shocked. I tried to let Felix know of this controversy, but he met his demise before the night was over. So I did not have the chance. To be fair. Is there anyone specifically that came and asked you about Felix and any wrongdoings that they have been reason to be angry? I can't officially recall. Well, now it's not unofficial. Yeah, off the record. I will, unclassified. I will say, though, that uh, I was accused of sharing certain information that I may or may not have, you know, because I guess I definitely shared some aggressive, you know, tendencies towards, you know, Felix, uh, just a little bit of anger built inside, but I was approached by uh, Mr. Duke over there, mm. and he, uh, he approached me very threateningly, actually, accusing the, my... Uh, my actions of you know uh, selling out his information to uh, Edgar actually, oh. and because of that, I received a very threatening uh, message from him. And he actually put his hand on my shoulder and uh, for was the other hand. Oh, uh, uh, I think she called it a ring around. <laughs> he, uh, right? He made the, uh, anyone else know Felix's business dealings with Christoph Waltz over here? You mean? Yeah. yeah. Of course, that uh, the I grand compliment. Thank you, Sophia. He's a great. What was this business folks. about? What was the problem that they had? Everyone's been very shady yeah. about it. You said their business deals. I need to know specifically what it's about. Specific. Because you're the like number one suspect right now. So what? Wow. <laughs> you got so angry you just put on his hat. So what was the business? What what was the issue? Does anyone know? Fortunately. His father had passed and he inherited the uh, horse track races and gambling and he, you know, was trying to uh, incorporate several renovations and, you know, change over the whole uh, business and company that he had taken over. A necessity. My so father had left money, something in disrepair. If you had all this money, why did you not just pay if you money you owe him? Yeah, why does he have money you? I did not make all this money. It was an investment from Felix himself. He provided me with an extravagant amount of cash to invest into my establishment and provide these renovations towards the improvement so that in the coming years, perhaps if Felix had some foresight, he would have seen that in perhaps 10 I do not believe you, Felix told me tonight a large to number. never do business dealings with you, Nick. Whoa. He told me to not even speak your name when it comes to business dealings. He said you're not good for your money yes. and I should not mingle with you. But it's very true, because I found us to quite a solid relation this evening, and myself and Felix were quite on good terms. But I thought Felix and you are not uh, on good terms, so why would he tell you that? Maybe he does not want... We had a spat, business but attempt. it had been recovered. I have shared this information already. In fact, you, you can speak on this, that Felix had indeed confirmed himself that he was going to pay for yes, the show. He was quite Why bad. would he do that if he had I would taken like, his money away? I would like to also mention that I offered Felix an IOU equal to the worth of a large household in New York. That is a grand amount of money, and he is provided to use this money as his own little gambling in my establishment, which 
Some might say it would be quite favorable as a correct table to Felix himself. And guess, was he fine with the IOU or did he no, not care? I will actually make a point of saying. Please do Felix coffee. asked me to actually address the Thanks situation talk. with Duke, that he was not happy with that IOU. I will back that up. This is very curious because I spoke with Felix himself and he said the IOU was fine for this time, but the next time in the coming years. I think I I this is for you. Do you make some facts? Off the top of his From what I'm aware of, actually, Felix has been avoiding you for most of the time recently, and you actually had mentioned that to me, and that's why you uh, came to me to actually relate You mentioned this to Poppy! Hmm. As Felix's wife, I will say, he came to me with the original note of the island, oh. and said that this would be something we would have to deal with later, because it was not okay. And I believe this is also a case for my innocence, because why would I... Commit an act me. of violence against Felix himself when Frank already had his eye on me. That if Felix were to meet his demise, which he unfortunately has, Frank would suspect me first and foremost. <laughs> um, do we have, does anyone have anything to raise now about anything they want to bring up before we try and figure this out and get down to the bottom of it? Because now's the time before I, I go back to the station and say, hey, this is what's up. Felix is dead. I got this person a warrant. We're gonna make an arrest. You know, I don't want Frank to find out. I want this clean. So I want all the information right now. So speak now for our holy peace. I would like to mention, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Point of view, the Jedi are evil. You know, you know. Crime scene. With best friends. Um, with one vote. Uh, we have a four-way tie. Wow. Between wow. Kirkman, Taylor, Kyle, and Clinton. Wow. Oh, oh my God. Have you seen this act? I have a question. Have you seen my briefcase? Yeah, there's some with zero votes. That's third place, we should say. With second place, two votes for Shaylin. And then it's a tie for first place between Jessica and Mackenzie. I have zero votes. Yeah, Yeah, me too. I'm pretty pissed. You won the right. Oscar. Now, who <laughs> y'all thought did it? Um, we had two votes for Taylor. Well Bobby. done. Well done. Who we, we thought did it? We had three votes for Duke. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> the majority of you got it right. And yes, Mr. Williams. <laughs> 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 Oh, you know, the last murder mystery I was at, I was picked as the killer that time, too. I guess I just had... You literally said that the other night, and I was like, oh, fuck, I should have changed that. <laughs> but I failed this I time. I, I, know. I felt like... I did. In the be, second phase. Because he was the murderer last time, Nobody it's just it. probably not him. That is 100% but he reason done. I voted for him. <laughs> I was like, he did it last but time, he'll do it again. But then I was like, you know what, if he's evil last time, he'll be evil this time. It's a classic on There was a 